Hello, food lovers. We're back. I'm Dr. Tony Hatton at www.theattractivethinker.guru. And I'm Chef Kristen Hatton at kristenmarie's.com. And today we actually want to share a book with you. This is the book of the month. It is called What the Fork Are You Eating by Stephanie Sachs. And it's a guide. Um, it's a great, it's an action plan for your pantry and plate. And it tells you the truth about what's hidden in your food. So I highly recommend um, going to the library and getting this book or buying it from a bookstore or something like that. Um, inside, uh, it really goes in depth of what you're eating, especially um, from mass produced food, foods from fast food places, um, even from just buying a drink from 7-Eleven, it talks about the, um, not only do you have to worry about the artificial sweeteners in the drinks, but the actual dyes that they're using in um, your sports drinks, the sodas, um, fruit juices, anything like that. It um, gives you um, an action plan in the back of the book to help you. I mentioned in one of our previous videos about clocking mm -hmm. what you eat throughout the week. So mm -hmm. it gives you an, uh, a way to actually develop and see what you're eating on a daily basis. Mm -hmm. And it's filled with um, 50 original recipes mm -hmm. so that you can uh, change your, your diet yeah. and, your, and your lifestyle. Yeah. You know, Kristen, you shared something with me about the food coloring. And when you shared, I mean, I heard it before. I'm a health coach. I've heard it before. But the way you shared it as a result of reading this book, you know, it just gave me a different picture, a different image of what's really going on with our drinks. So food lovers, what I'm what I'm saying here is she, Kristen shared some information with me about the food coloring. And you, you shared, a, was it a story in the book where the, the little boy said to, to his friend, you're eating red number four. Five he was drinking like a uh, red sports drink and uh, the little boy walked up to his friend. He said, you're drinking red number 40. And the little boy's like, what's red number 40? And he's like, mom, take it away. And uh, basically he was telling him that the red coloring from the drink came from a chemical and not from a natural uh, color such as maybe beets or exactly. something like that. Exactly. Like there's a, there's a difference between um, a color that's made naturally yeah. you know something yeah. that we can see outside right. than something that's made in a something in a that factory. grows in nature mm -hmm. that's what we're talking about when you look out in nature it's so many beautiful colors i mean think about a flower garden that that's what we're mm -hmm. talking about we're talking mm -hmm. about real colors colors from nature natural colors but when we look at our food products you turn them on you look at the back and you see artificial flavoring artificial coloring mm -hmm. that means I mean, just the name alone, artificial. It's but not, we're not real. Getting it. It's not real. We're real humans, aren't we? Yeah, but Are we we're fake? not getting that. Yeah, we're not. We're not getting real food. We are actually in, inside this book, and it, it's it's so enlightening. You have you have to get this book. Inside the book, it, it talks about things that we're eating that aren't even found in nature. They're developed in a in a, a chemical lab. laboratory, mm -hmm. and it, it's kind of scary once you read some of these things, it kind of makes you say like, oh my gosh, like I was really eating, you know, food like product or coke, coke like rocks, like yeah. under the plastic, you know, exactly. shelves, mm -hmm. ground up shelves, mm -hmm. things like that. But I, I want to, you know, again, the food coloring thing really it gave me a different image of that. When we talk about artificial flavors, artificial colors, red number 40. And you, if you look on the back of your food products, you might see blue number this or yellow number that. And it, it, when I think about that, Think about the drinks that are on the market, mm -hmm. and we're not gonna. I'm not. We're not gonna name any stores, any markets, because we're not targeting any particular store market. We're talking about the products that we're consuming mm -hmm. in general. Mm -hmm. So when you talk about the drinks, when we look at the drinks that we consume and that are on the market, if you go in the market and you look at the juice section, and you see all these vibrant colors. They're appealing to the eye. That's They're pretty much what it the is. The, the the color doesn't add flavor to your drink exactly. or, or or the fizz that you crave from exactly. a soda. It's appealing. Healing. I mean, when you realize it, a lot of the things that we buy, a lot of the things that we consume, it's not that we necessarily need it 
wanted. It's more, um, it's because it's eye catching. Mm. It, it's a great because we eat with our eyes exactly. as well. Exactly, exactly. We eat with our eyes, and then we eat with our taste but mm-hmm. taste buds. We rarely eat with our stomachs because if mm-hmm. we ate with our stomachs, we, we wouldn't would be eating half <laughs> of the <this laughs> stuff that we eat. We now. would stop eating really quick, right? Mm-hmm. Because your stomach is only about the size of your fist. Exactly. Did exactly. you hear that, food lovers? Your stomach is only about the size of your fist. So if you put your fist on a plate, that's probably how much food you should be eating in a setting. Mm-hmm. But most of the time, we're supersizing and we're going back for seconds and we're not mm-hmm. eating off of sauces. We're eating I off eat of platters. I eat with my eyes all the time, <laughs> especially if I've gone a couple of hours and I'm like, oh my gosh, I'm hungry. I need to eat. I need a number five with, with a large drink and then I need a side of this and a side of that. But I don't even barely eat all of it. Mm-hmm. And you can't save it because leftover chemical processed food tastes like Play-Doh food. Mm-hmm. 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 <laughs> it's and not... that's what the, the book goes into. It talks about mm. the preservation process that a lot of these companies go through to uh, keep the shelf life on their food. Mm-hmm. I mean, because they, lo- they would lose a lot of money if they didn't fill these products with pesticides and hormones and mm-hmm. different preservatives to keep their products mm-hmm. on the shelf for a long period of time. Because a lot of the food is coming from, is traveling from, from so far, mm-hmm. it would rot and go bad by mm-hmm. the time it gets to us. Mm-hmm. Which is another point we'll probably get into in another video about eating seasonally. Yes. Eating locally. And eating locally. Mm-hmm. Yes. Mm-hmm. That's very important because if we live on United States soil, why are we eating food from from other countries? Like, um, I'm not even gonna name the countries, but we you look on the back of your food products, you, you see made in or pro- processed in or different countries, right? So if we live on American soil, why are we eating food from other countries? And That's you not wonder locally. why your stomach is messed yes, up. Yes, yes, mm-hmm. yes, yes. We come, we're on this soil. We're inhaling this air. We're in this environment, and we're used to this atmosphere. We're mm-hmm. not used to the atmosphere where other food is grown. Think about that. And other food is grown in other atmospheres and then we bring it into our, our atmosphere and think it's in alignment with our bodies. Mm-hmm. I mean, think I just mean, that alone. Case could... in point, um, I had a friend from another country. We went to college together. When she first moved over here um, mm-hmm. during our first semester, she her body had a hard time mm-hmm. adjusting, adjusting to the food over here. Mm-hmm. Like she was, she was literally sick for mm-hmm. a, a couple of weeks mm-hmm. because her body was used to the food over there. I mean, they even told us when I went on the trip to Italy, they told us that we couldn't drink the water over there. Not that the water was bad, but our bodies weren't used to that water. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. That that's a that's a that's something to take notice of, food lovers, and it's something to really pay attention to mm-hmm. and really believe and do your research on it. Get it in on a deeper level because it is affecting us. A lot of times we're dealing with illnesses. The doctor can't find out what's wrong with you, right? Mm-hmm. So now we have to take responsibility for our own health and by the process of elimination, start assessing process what's working. Yeah, mm-hmm. you got to eliminate some things from your diet to find out what's working and what's not working. Again, I hope, food lovers, that you have pen and paper handy every time you listen to an episode of Lifestyle of a Food Lover because you never know when you're going to hear something or see something that's going to cause a major shift in your life. So tell us about this book. I mean, just the title alone. I mean, I was really interested to, to know more details about so this So I'm going to go to the uh, the chapter guide in this book. It talks about chemical preservatives, artificial flavor enhancers, trans fat, pesticides, antibi- antibiotics, things that they're giving the animals, you know, before they die to keep them, you know, from getting sick and all that other stuff. And imagine, okay, so they're, they're pumping these animals with this stuff. We're eating these mm-hmm. animals. We're getting the same chemicals. Yeah, it's just like them pumping up. Just hold your arm. Why don't we just hold our arm out and Pretty let much. them pump us with the stuff that they're pumping into the mm-hmm. chickens? Because that's what's happening. Yeah, she has a section in here called uh, Pantry Rehab. And it's actually um, about, it, it shows you how to clean out your fridge, how to find alternatives for the things that you love, and how to really um, change over your and lifestyle. That's what, and that's what we do through kitchen demolitions mm-hmm. and cooking demonstrations, going into the, you know, our clients' homes, helping them process what's in their cabinet mm-hmm. and what's in their refrigerator and showing them, you know, on the food labels, what they're consuming. Once you educate mm-hmm. people, mm-hmm. they can see more clearly. You can make better decisions. You can, you can learn decisions. how to mix and match your food. Yes. I mean, everything on your plate doesn't necessarily have to be a hundred percent healthy, but if you learn how to take a little bit over here, a little bit over there, mm-hmm. you know, put them together so that's mm-hmm. beneficial to your body, that's pretty much what your end game is. Mm-hmm. You want what you 
consume to be beneficial to your body. Yeah. You're supposed to be energized. Yeah, because you don't want to sit down and eat a plate of plastic, chemicals, crushed up shells, processed stuff, food-like mm -hmm. product, mm -hmm. you know, and then expect to get healthy. That, that stuff isn't living. Mm -hmm. that, that stuff is not alive. I'm a real person and I want real Living food. people need living food. We mm -hmm. say that all the time. Mm -hmm. And food lovers, we really hope that you're getting that. Living people need living food. The next time you open your mouth. See, Kristen and I are here to support you in being healthy and making healthier food choices. Why? Because we care. We care about your health. And this is a journey that we're on ourselves. Exactly. There it's a never-ending journey. Exactly. There, there is no, oh, I'm just going to Yes, stop because we're, we're always changing and growing. Mm -hmm. You know, what used to work for us even just last year does not work for us now. Exactly. I'm a year older. My body is different. Changing. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So you have to change with it. Mm -hmm. That means you have to change your food choices. You have to change your lifestyle, change your routine to accommodate. So that means every day we're constantly assessing. Mm -hmm. our bodies and our stomachs when you eat something how does it feel in your stomach mm -hmm. do you feel bloated do you feel tight do you have to unbutton your pants that means you ate something that really did not agree with your intestines yeah. mm -hmm. it really did not agree mm -hmm. so we have to assess that that's called being in alignment and being in tune with your body food lover and I hope you you know really feel our heart concerning that we just want to educate you and give you some better options you know open your eyes wide so you can clearly see what sabotage because, you know, even with some of my clients, you know, they come to me and they say, you know, they want to be well, they want to be healthy, they want to eliminate excessive weight, they want to feel better, they want to increase their energy. And then when we start really getting to the root of what's going on, they're shocked. Mm -hmm. That these, these answers were right in their just, faces. You literally just have to educate yourself. You it's, do. It's, it's, it's a hard journey, but it's it's, it's simple. It. It's, it's simple um, mentally to, to understand mm -hmm. why we eat what we eat. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? Mm -hmm. And and even sometimes it's 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 the things in our food. You mm -hmm. know, really like sometimes you eat point. you eat these things you really don't even realize mm -hmm what you're eating mm -hmm. you know things labeled like it talks about things labeled you know natural and organic oh, and yeah. low calorie and low fat is i mean is it really sabotage is it really sabotage low fat yeah it, it may be low fat at it and they think that that's healthy because it says natural mm -hmm. it's labeled low fat or, or low sugar but you put an artificial sweetener in it so you really kind of defeat the purpose it. of mm -hmm. you know made it toxic Mm -hmm. Made it even more toxic. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So like I always say, it's not what you're eating. It's what you're eating and not getting as far as nutrition in your food. Mm -hmm. Food is so highly manipulated mm -hmm. now. Mm -hmm. We don't even know. We could be what eating. What we're eating. We could be eating. Lizards or a, something. A wall. <laughs> <laughs> so no plastic. Yeah. Like, you know, mm -hmm. the, the cotton or whatever that yes. is in the wall. We could yes. be literally be eating that. Literally. Would, but as long as it tastes like uh, red number 40. Oh, and, my goodness. And... <laughs> Yes. We don't care. Yes, yes. And, you know, every time I think about that food coloring thing, when, when you were sharing that with me, because I'm a visual person, you know, as a vision expert, that's what happens when people talk to me in words I see in pictures. Mm -hmm. Most people hear what they say. I get to see what they say. Mm -hmm. So when you were sharing with me about the food coloring, I was imagining what if we took the food coloring out of the drinks, all the drinks would look the same, mm -hmm. clear. They would taste different based on the chemical that's in them, mm -hmm. you know, and, and from the book you were sharing with me about um, uh, an artificial sweetener that uh, was discovered in a lab as a result of working on another chemical. Yeah, working on a chemical. I think he well, he dipped his hand he, in it. He dipped his hand mm -hmm. in it by mistake. Mm -hmm. And you know how you, you, um, you lick, your, lick fingers your finger to, get to turn a piece of pages? Mm -hmm. He licked his finger to turn pages or pick up a piece of something that was stuck together and, and he, he realized. realized it was sweet mm -hmm. and got it approved as an artificial sweetener. Mm -hmm. So basically, like I was telling you earlier today, um, these these chemicals are in our food. Everyone knows that it mm -hmm. is. The the food companies know mm -hmm. it. I mean, mm -hmm. the majority of the population we know it. Yeah, we know it. Basically, now. We, know it now. we didn't know it before. We exactly. Know it Everyone basically they're they're saying that as long as you don't die from this stuff, then it's okay to serve yeah. it to you. Yeah. 
but it's okay if it causes cancer mm -hmm. or you get diabetes yeah. or you get high blood pressure. Mm -hmm. As long as you don't die, mm -hmm. we're going to serve It's approved. You. As exactly. long as you don't die, it's approved. It's, it's, it's uh, approved and it's okay. And it's okay to package it. It's okay to serve it. Mm -hmm. It's okay to, to, to not even put on a label, not, not, not consumable for children. Mm -hmm. So that means we're, we're serving it to our kids. Mm -hmm. Right? And then mm -hmm. we're wondering. We're walking around sickly and we're wondering why. Mm -hmm. But, but that's, that's the reason why. Mm -hmm. But as long as you're not dead, mm -hmm. it's okay. Mm -hmm. That's why food lovers, you have to take responsibility. Be more conscious. Mm -hmm. That's why we're here. We're not creating these videos because we want to be seen. We're creating these videos because we want to be a solution. Like <laughs> but we have to. When when you when you when you're you're given much, much is required, right? Mm -hmm. And we know a lot about nutrition, you know, based on what we've been through in our own bodies and our own health, mm -hmm. and based on our education. You know, mm -hmm. you have three degrees in culinary arts. Mm -hmm. That's major, meaning you've served your time in food. You know something about food. Mm -hmm. I'm a certified health coach, so I know something about food. Plus, I'm always assessing my body. Plus, and we both like to eat. We both like to eat, like but to eat. but I don't like to sabotage. Mm -hmm. You see what I'm saying? I like to eat. Yes, I love sweets and I love all kinds of things. I love food. I, I love going out and eating, but I'm just not interested in sabotaging and cutting my years off. Mm -hmm. I'm just not interested in that. Food lover, you know, I asked one of my clients one time, I said, what if you have, what if it's encoded in your DNA to live to be 120 years old, 120 years old, and because of your diet and lifestyle, you cut 50 years off of your life. How devastating is that? I know. Do you know what you could get accomplished in 50 years? Mm -hmm. Do you know what you could get accomplished in your bloodline within 50 years? Who you, who can, uh, you can impact with yes. your life? Yes, Not just for, for yourself, but for other people. Yes, mm -hmm. yes. So this is why we're doing this video series. Mm -hmm. Series. We're not saying that we're perfect. We're far from perfect. We don't know everything. But what we do know, that's what we're going to share. Exactly. So I highly, highly, highly encourage everyone to get this book, What the Fork Are You Eating? And I guarantee you it will change your life. Awesome. Awesome. So what are some last minute um, resources or tips that you can share that would really um, enlighten the food lovers about this book? What the fork are you eating? And I like that because, you know, I've also heard people say that we're in our country, we're killing ourselves. We're digging our grave with our forks. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. You know, um, I think one thing that I want to leave with you is that once you decide to change over your eating habits, your lifestyle, and, and you want to educate yourself, share it with your family, share it with your kids. Mm -hmm. Create generational wellness. Exactly. As you start to change and your kids see your diet start to change, they'll be mm -hmm. like, oh, well, you know, what's that? Mm -hmm. Or what's, what's mom or what's dad, mm -hmm. you know, eating? I, I want to try that. Mm -hmm. You make your kids healthier. Yes. You know? Yes. Yes. Because they say sickness and disease is not transferred from one generation to the next, but ignorance is. Oh, definitely. I really believe ignorance that. is and mm -hmm. ignorance doesn't mean stupid. Ignorance means not knowing. Mm -hmm. So we're compelled when you know something, you have to share it with the next generation. Mm -hmm. I always say it would be a waste for my children to grow up in life and have to start where I left off at as, as, as a child because I didn't transfer the information. Mm -hmm. So now they're battling my battles. That's ridiculous. All we have to do is take responsibility for our wellness and teach and educate our children. Because in our country, our children are now dealing with adult type diseases. Mm -hmm. That is ridiculous. Mm -hmm. I've never heard of a baby or a kid in elementary school having high blood pressure. Yep. What the fork are we eating, mm -hmm. right? Mm hmm. Mm -hmm. Or what are you feeding your child? Yeah, that's a whole mm -hmm. other episode yeah. of lifestyle. With food <laughs> yeah. So, yeah. Um, did you have any last minute? Uh, I do, food lovers. I hope you've enjoyed this episode. And again, you know, Kristen and I will always be with you every week, sharing videos, maybe two or three videos a week. You know, just stay tuned to this 
channel here, mm -hmm. you know, consistently come back. We want to also encourage you to subscribe to this channel. There's a button on this page where you can subscribe and, you know, just get, you know, information every, every time we update the channel, right? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So again, this is Dr. Tony Hatton at www.theattractivethinker.guru. And if you need support, if you feel stuck, you feel like you're all over the place and you're just not sure where to get started, Contact our office at 410-298-2121. Schedule a 30-minute complimentary wellness con consultation because I want you to set aside some time for you, food lover, and talk about where you are, where you'd like to be, and I promise I'll share how I can support you with reaching your goals. Well, dang, she took, you know, she said everything. <laughs> I'm Chef Kristen Hatton, and uh, thanks for tuning in. Bye. <laughs> Bye, food lovers. <laughs>